Vasco da Gama 9 not only brings us new camera profiles, it gives us two new camera modes as well. To show you the behavior of these new two camera modes, I have created a very small project, a flight route from Frankfurt to New York. As head object I have selected an airplane and I have given it some height so that it isn't flying directly on the ground. Switching to the camera section, we are at automatic camera mode and you know already the results of the automatic camera depends on the selected camera profile. Like in this example here, side glance 70 degrees, when we go to the preview window, the animation looks like this, the camera maintains certain distance to the head object, moving slowly from the tail of the object to the front, but that isn't the object of this tutorial. Let's switch from the automatic camera mode to the two new camera modes, static camera and simple camera. Let's examine first the static camera and the name tells us already in this camera mode the camera doesn't move. It is on a fixed point observing all the head objects moving on their routes and let's play it back. You see the camera really stands still and our airplane is flying on its way to New York. This isn't very spectacular right now but let's cancel it and now let's use the new camera zoom and let's zoom in a little bit and if we now move the camera so that our head object is right outside the right edge of our camera and if we now save these changes here by pressing this button then our airplane will move into the window from the right and will disappear on the left. Let's go to the preview and play it back and now you can see this animation now looks quite different. If you like this effect a little bit stronger you can even zoom in further, save the camera settings and play it back again. And now it looks much more interesting. This static camera mode is perfect for all those projects where you for example show a street map and your head object is always visible so there is no need for the camera to move and this static camera mode makes those projects much more simpler. And now let's have a look at the simple camera mode Let's switch directly. I will accept with yes. And now you can see our head object is placed in the middle of the camera view, at least when it comes to left and right. And in this case, we are still maintaining the zoom from the former example. We can adjust the viewing angle of our camera so that our head object comes a little bit more down. And if we now zoom out a little bit, then we get, for example, this view. Now let's go to the preview and play back the animation. And you can see the camera maintains our head object always in the same position. And this is a very easy and very beautiful camera mode for many projects because it permits us to create stunning animations with only a very few simple mouse clicks. The only thing you have to remember is that sometimes the effect of an animation depends on the zoom and on the viewing angle. So changing the viewing angle can make the difference. So you can zoom in further and even look from the top and you can turn around the camera view and just set the camera settings 
and play back the preview and you see th the camera maintains the head object always in the same position on the screen. This is very easy and very beautiful.